A year ago, I committed to our audience of freedom lovers worldwide that InfoWars, the syndicated radio show, the filmmaking, everything we're doing would be taken to the next level because the world is becoming such an incredibly dangerous place. And we're in that flux period of history where really the next hundred years of human development is being decided. We are at a critical juncture. Every major historian, futurist agrees that we're in one of the most dangerous periods with the situation with Syria and Russia and China and Fukushima, all of it. That's why Infowars.com has always been a place, a platform to bring activists, researchers, journalists together to try to showcase the work they're doing, whether it's Ron Paul or Ben Swan, whether it's Dr. Paul Craig Roberts or you know, the great crew we've got here. There are just hundreds and hundreds of people from nuclear physicists to retired generals to intelligence people on the broadcast every day and on the websites bringing their unique perspective. And the people we continue to interview are those that have been proven to be accurate. The mainstream media could be accurate if they wanted to. They know how the world really works. But they're there trying to create a false paradigm for people to keep you confused so you don't ever become a real participant in the development of human civilization. The globalists want control of that. Now, somebody in the last three, four years that I followed his work is Anthony Gucciardi, and he has the great site, storyleak.com. He also has other big news sites. And he moved to Austin a few years ago, and we've been interviewing him and looking at his work. And it's just consistently been very piercing and informative. And that's why when he was here a month or so ago in studio, I said, hey, we ought to have, you know, you actually work in studio with us as a TV contributor, radio contributor more. And he said, absolutely. You ought to have something called the InfoWars Network where you work with other sites, they work with you, and we build each other up and you know, really identify the good journalists out there and create a united front, not of all our information, but just of promoting each other to oppose the globalist. So uh, Anthony, a few days a week now, is coming into the office, helping us with reports, working from his office as well in Austin, Texas, just like we've worked with Mike Adams of Natural News, continue to work with him and the great work he's doing, and so many others that have moved to Austin. And down the road, InfoWars.com will be the place where we develop a whole section where every day we feature and promote other sites, other journalists, other groups uh, that we're also having on the air to really try to create a synergy of liberty lovers. Because, hey, the founding fathers are dead, folks. There's no secret room of patriots that are going to defeat the new world order. We're it. You're it. And just like I've had film festivals to promote liberty and organic resistance and so many other activist events, Anthony Gucciardi joining us is the first part of something we're going to roll out in the next year of more and more people being part of the InfoWars network. Now, that's just a quick announcement. I wanted to get his uh, take on working with us and what he thinks being here the last week. And then I want to talk about some of the news uh, that's front and center at StoryLeak.com and PrisonPlanet.com and InfoWars.com. Anthony, good to have you joining us here at the team. Good to be working with you, partnering up. And I think the fact of the matter is that the mainstream media is dead. We've seen Gallup polls where the trust factor in the mainstream media is absolutely depleted at zero. We are the media. Exactly. The alternative news is the new media, there's no question, but at the same time, there's kind of a chasm now. There's an issue where the alternative news now is so, plur uh, it's, it's expanding. But where can you go to find the best possible news and the best possible real analysis? And that's why I think the best portion of all of this, InfoWars is such a powerhouse. We can go ahead and do things like StoryLeak.com, though, to go ahead and have these different offshoots of reality to just pierce through the media and, most importantly, headline bombing. And that's kind of a term I made up to cover the stories that matter most, push it into the mainstream media, and then also become our own media. Because the fact of the matter is, you, the reader, you're the new media. Anyone can go out and take a picture or a video with your cell phone now. The fact is that we need the alternative news to streamline what matters. In fact, tell me what you told me a month ago that absolutely clicked, and it's really true. And Ben Swan said this when he was on two weeks ago. Countless others do. We're going to upgrade InfoWars, Prison Planet. We're going to make it even better, slicker, easier to use. All that's happening right now, but but everybody I talk to says, no, really, InfoWars is able now to push important regional or international news that the globalists have blocked out into the mainstream. So I've talked to so many movers and shakers who've pointed out what's obvious, but that I'm so close to that I don't tend to notice, that, that, that InfoWars really does have a critical role in breaking through that electronic Berlin Wall 
uh, on a junior level to what something like DrudgeReport.com could do. But you know, we're aspiring to bring even more powerful journalists and research together to really intensify our resistance. Well, and here's the thing, too. You know, as you are aware, I've been kind of writing in an indirect way. You've been pulling a lot of my research and analysis off StoryLeak for several years now, which is awesome because you know, we're working together and I'm doing exclusive reports for InfoWars over the years. What ends up happening is someone like Drudge does come in, and now it's about on a weekly basis I'm finding some of my stories on Drudge Report. What that does is it gives us an angle to finally come together and headline bomb since independently we've been hitting on these chords of truth for years now. But by coming together, not just us, I mean, everyone listening right now, we all need to come together. It's the only way we're going to win. By coming together, we hit the nail on the head to the point now we're all focusing on the same issue. We're all focusing on what actually matters. And more and more mainstream media will then be forced to cover what we're covering. Exactly. That's, what, that's what we're getting at. That's here. what headline bombing is. You force the media to cover it, it becomes an international talking point. And then the, the organic liberty movement, the real press, not the uh, Obama supporters and the prostitutes, now we are forcing them to cover our agenda of liberty. It's the opposite of what's happening previously with the mainstream media forcing us to defend ourselves, to for, uh, defending the Second Amendment. We're pushing it on them, and we're saying, now the ball is in your court. We're going on the offense. Exactly. And, and, the and we've done that in the last year. We've massively increased our presence. And again, InfoWars is just one part of it. We want to take other journalists, other you know, groups out there that are doing real research that we can look at and vet, and magnify what you're doing, but then at the same time then take the stories that InfoWars.com puts out or StoryLeak.com puts out and magnify those as well. Because it's bigger than InfoWars, it's bigger than Drudge, it's bigger than StoryLeak. It's about th this idea being promoted. The platforms launch it like a rocket though. These ideas are what's big, but we need the platforms to be bigger than ever to launch it and just explode it so that and we need hears about it. To, to network and help each other as well and other sites be able to launch it so there's more of us coming at them. The United States of America can come together and say this is the story that actually matters because instead we're derailed onto these bogus garbage issues like the Trayvon Martin murder when World War III is brewing. And that's some of the things we're going to talk about, how World War III might be escalating right now, how Obama is destroying any hope of a relationship with Russia, and that could ultimately cause war, and also some of the stuff that the mainstream media gets 100% wrong and just exposing it all. Well, that's why they hate real alternative media, because the Drudge Report, for example, can show three videos of Obama saying you know, he'll never spy on you with the NSA, and then show a new video of him saying, of course we do, it's good for you. Or how he's going to launch chemical attacks to start a war with Syria, which was reported by Yahoo News in January of 2013, where they actually cited InfoWars. Then we come out through story leak and InfoWars, blast that over and over and over and over and over. And again. now the Russians come out, and now even World Net Daily comes out with the videos in Arabic showing the Al-Qaeda loading the missiles last and week. And then once again, though, but see, people don't understand this train, how this works. It was InfoWars, and then my reports going with you. It was really Paul, Paul Joseph Watson did it first going through this platform, and now it's understand, understood as you know common knowledge. Yeah, Obama did that, but it was this platform. If we didn't have this, if we didn't launch that, we would have never gotten there. That's right. We have to really realize, not in an arrogant way, it's actually scary yeah. how important we are. No, it is scary. The mainstream media should be doing this, but we're doing it. We're the first ones to cover Russia amassing troops on the border and the combat readiness drill after Israel bombed their missile depot. And so that's all that's happened now is nature abhors a vacuum. We filled it because the press won't do their job because they're now just PR hacks. And exactly, and that's why this InfoWars network is so big. I mean, there's nothing else out there. We told people first the tuna had radiation in it from Fukushima. That came out. It's hundreds of issues, and people now realize that. And it's important to discredit the old kleptocrat media. Well, it's very exciting. Uh, you, you're doing a lot of reports at StoryLeak.com. Talk about some of the things you're focusing on. Right now, I think we're seeing a massive buildup between Russia. I think Syria is a distraction, as weird as that is. I think Syria was a hot proxy war. Now it's a hot direct war with Russia. I think Obama really is going out for Putin. Well, also, again, they're taking all our regular human rights, civil rights, as Dr. Roberts has pointed out and others, and so it's not that we're against gay people or anything, folks. That, that's a distraction. It's, it's, a football, it. it's a football issue. Whenever he's asked about the NSA, he brings it up. They've sent over brigades, fifth column people to Russia from the State Department as gay activists to go stir stuff up. You're allowed to protest in Russia. You just can't do it if you're foreign national. They're coming to stir stuff up. And I'm not even defending what the Russians do overall. So they arrest them. No, we're defending against World War III. We're not Absolutely. And then they go, oh, it's okay. Putin's mean to gay people. Let's have World War III. I mean, this is the type of insanity. 
But, but, but here's the difference. Now they have a 9% approval rating to launch yeah. this war. Yep. They had a but 72 uh, for the Iraq war with fake intel. Americans now understand the trick. So how does that change the atmosphere out there that before they could sell people on these wars on fraud, now the people are actually awake? I think that's some pretty, uh, some, some, some pretty positive news. The problem is, as you said, they're just going to go right ahead with it. The difference now is we can expose them. Let's look, for example, the report I found, the CIA documents showed from the 1980s that the United States under Reagan, you know, all loving Reagan who could do no wrong, supported Saddam Hussein in the chemical attacks against Iran from Iraq so that Iraq would win the war. Well, the CIA advised it. Yeah, the CIA helped them, helped them carry it out. And now what do we see? What do we see Obama doing? Launching chemical attacks on Syria as a pretext to war. They've done it a million times. This is Iraq 2.0. And notice that Kerry says in the speech, we'll play a clip right here in a moment, it doesn't matter who did the chemical attack, we've got to go in because of it. The indiscriminate slaughter of civilians, the killing of women and children and innocent bystanders by chemical weapons is a moral obscenity. By any standard, it is inexcusable and despite the excuses and equivocations that some have manufactured, it is undeniable. So now they can chemical attack somebody, even get caught, and look, I attacked you, so now I get to invade. I mean, it is, it really is a war on logic. It's like they're, tr is it that they are delusional or are they trying to just muddy the waters? What do you think this tactic is? It comes down to using your emotions. When someone's emotions begin, that's when your rights and your logic end. They can play on emotions. Look how many people died. Look at all this rampage and chaos. You're not terror. for that, are you? Let us kill a hundred times that. What did they do with Saddam in Iraq? Showed the people dead. Said Saddam's an evil person. He did all this. Nothing about 9-11. That was just more emotion. And then more and more emotion. Look at all these people who killed. Look in the 80s. He chemically gassed all these people. We commanded him, but we won't mention that. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what actually happened. As long as people are moved enough and emotionally overrun enough to go and say, yeah, we need to stop that, then it doesn't matter. Absolutely. But we are winning, and people realize this, and this is what this whole entire video session is about, just blasting this news out and going past this because the mainstream media numbers are garbage. More people are going to watch this video than even watch most of the mainstream news programs. That's true. They're imploding more every day, and, and, and they realize that. That's why they're trying to come in with cyber shutdowns, political correctness, rodeo clown, yeah. you know, distractions, banning paper bags in Seattle because they're racist. And, and but, yeah, bags yeah, in Austin now. Yeah, well, the, well, the term brown bag is racist. We went out to Austin ice today, and they agreed to ban brown bags because they're racist. They are. So I, that's a racist black coat you have there. No, I think so, too. It's, it's a racist against virtually everyone. Well, that blue shirt's against blue bloods. Uh, anyways, the point here is we just want liberty and a future. We're just pointing out common sense. We want to build a larger platform for other people to do it. Things like PlanetInfoWars.com, our social network. Uh, Anthony, you've got a lot of tips on web stuff that you've given us. It, it, you're you're going to be helping us out there as well. We're going to help well. each other out. That's the only way to do it. And I'm not against saying that, hey, you know, we each have our own platforms, and that's cool. We each have our own angles. But together, if we don't come together and actually fight this as one single push, we're going to lose. Plain and simple. We'll, we, we will lose. Absolutely. I mean, look at who I have on the show. I just have basically all these other media outlets, all these other groups, all these other alternative media people. That's all I ever tried to do was like build a platform for all of us to help each other. Yeah. And then Cass Sunstein and the whole COINTELPRO cognitive infiltration plan that we've really seen heat up and, the, and that the Pentagon admits they're going to really deploy this year against everybody. Uh, is because meant, we're winning. Because we're winning. is meant to create infighting. Is meant to, and, and somebody that is engaged in infighting at the end here is either stupid and following someone above them who is putting out the disinfo to create the COINTELPRO or their COINTELPRO themselves. Because if you look at all the legitimate alternative media out there that just fights for liberty, justice, truth, nonpartisan across the board, we're growing, we're exploding. And the good news is the provocateurs have been so out of control, people have actually created an immunity to them and now spot them immediately. Yep. And so what are they going to do now? Well, the Pentagon says they're going to go out and buy all the bloggers. This is They've gotten rid of the law against domestic propaganda. They're going to spend billions buying all the bloggers. So now we're going to find out who out there is going to be bought off and will then start attacking other media? See, that's why we're also saying we've got to start unifying together so that it's clear. No infighting, none of this. Focus on the New World Order, stopping World War III, stopping Fukushima meltdown, stopping implosion of the dollar, stopping the erosion of our liberties, stuff like that.
Okay, instead of this guy's a Fed, that guy's a Fed. That's who the Fed is, folks, okay? And all you do is just ignore them, move forward with the Bill of Rights, liberty, unity on issues. Any, any comments on that since we're talking strategy? The bottom line is that we're 1700 style right now. We're back to back with some rifles, and there's a lot of redcoats around us with their sights. And unless we actually stand together back to back and deter them, we will be shot down. And you're right about that. The fact is that alternative news, like I said, there's a rift right now between reality and disinformation. And we could go back to a lot of the propaganda from the FBI, like the Black Panther comic books, which we could show on screen, which are disturbing and horrific, that are extremely racist. And back then they were seen as real. But the FBI actually put them out, admittedly, under their own wing to discredit black people in the Black Pan Panther movement. That's exactly what we're seeing today. With They're the putting out stuff to discredit the real Tea Party, to discredit veterans, to discredit liberty groups, to, con to discredit real kind of leftist groups that are anti-war, anti-GMO. Again, Cass Sunstein wrote two papers, one at Chicago uh, Business University, one at Harvard, right before he became the regulations are under Obama. He's the guy running the 9-11, uh, the NSA commission uh, yeah. whitewash right now. I was thinking back to Kissinger to head up the fake 9-11 commission, had a had a uh, Freudian slip there. Too many sociopathic control freaks. Absolutely. And, and he says, we can't beat the new media. They're destroying us. All we can do is infiltrate it, get them all fighting with each other. So that's what we're saying here is that it's about to get a lot worse. But it, they're having to openly say the CIA is going to engage in, in, in infighting disinfo because they're imploding. I mean, this is a major sign of victory. So the answer is don't respond to the disinfo. Don't be involved in it. You become media people. Start a YouTube channel. Start a website. Start an audio blog. Start a local access show, radio show. Get out there. Write stories at Planet InfoWars. Submit them to InfoWars. Submit them to StoryLeak. Submit them to other folks. Get them published. Cover real issues. They want the rift in the real alternative media to be, you know, a third of it all infighting and talking about who's what and who's that. That's pure dissension in the ranks of the enemy. Okay, that's how the globalists see it. They see us as the enemy, so 101 is you sow dissension in the ranks of the enemy. Yep. That's what spies and operatives do, and that's what they're doing. That's why you never hear me infight. You never hear me do stuff like that because, because that, that is what they want. We have got to realize they're manipulating us. Any other comments on that in closing? I think that sums it up. In order to win, we have to amp it up. We can't sit here and continue to do what we're doing. We need to actually grow leaps and bounds. And that's what this is all about. And that is what we are doing right now. The one reason InfoWars is such a treasure is we've reverse engineered their whole globalist program reading their own white papers. The military, the special forces, the police, the technocrats all listen. I mean, those callers I had uh, yesterday were just unbelievable you know, nuclear launch guys, everything. And I could tell they all knew what they were talking about. Mm -hmm. It was the real deal calling in. They hear my show and they go, man, this guy knows what he's talking about. Because it's all there in plain view. I haven't been studying the baloney in the media. I've been studying history and how things work. InfoWars has such credibility because we're decompartmentalizing for people in the system who already knew all this, but are now being given wide spectrum analysis. And they're smart enough to go wait and see it for themselves and then contribute to what's happening. I mean, that's why they're really scared of us. Half the troops we run into are listeners. Do you think the New World Order likes that? <laughs> it's a call to arms. And everyone who thinks they're just going to sit around and not do anything, we're literally facing what could be nuclear war right now. And if that actually happens, if we get to that point, you're going to regret it. I mean, really, you need to stand up. We might not be able to ultimately stop something, some type of cataclysmic event in the way far future, but we can push it back. And they've admitted over and over again they've had to push it back because of us. They've had to push Brzezinski back Brzezinski said, yeah, Hillary, yeah. Yeah. They've all admitted that. Yep. 20 years plus. So they planned it in 1990, a complete takeover. It's been pushed back. They're pl they planned it in 2000, pushed back. I think it's going to be pushed back over and over again until we actually defeat them once and for all. It's like Nineveh and the 100-year reprieve. I mean, yeah. we, we need it, folks. I'll take a 10-year reprieve. I got kids. And uh, that's why everybody, though, is starting to really wake up. We're seeing a lot of good people stand up because they really get, man, this is bad. I mean, we're going down a bad road here. So there you go, folks. We're going to be launching more stuff in the future. Follow StoryLeak uh, over there at StoryLeak.com. And I'm going to give you the codes to the Info Warrior channel that we have, our second biggest YouTube channel that for some reason, never gets used around here. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to hand that over so you can uh, try to uh, help us uh, work on that. I'm going to hand over the code so you can upload the great reports you're going to be doing with us up there. Awesome. Great. Folks, subscribe to the Info Warrior. Subscribe to PrisonPlanet.tv. Uh, and uh, remember, if you're watching this transmission, you are the resistance.
Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.